Today we'll be talking about a technique called pointillism. Pointillism was started by Georges Seurat back in the 1800s. He is best known for his painting Sunday Afternoon on La Grande. Pointillism is a technique in painting in which small distinct dots of color are used in pattern to form an image. For this activity, we will need a paintbrush, acrylic paint, and a Q-tip to make our dots. To start off with, you're going to be mixing a light blue. Use a little bit of the white, a little bit of blue, mix it together to make that nice pale blue, and we're going to paint the whole snowman blue. Okay, once you're done with that, it, while it's still wet, we're going to get our Q-tip. Get some white on the very tip of your Q-tip. And keep your points close together. Some here, some there. We're going to just start off with white. Keep it close together. We're going to be doing this with the whole snowman. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video so we can get this done. Next, we're going to be using our toothpick to add some shadow. You find the dark blue, or you can do purple also if you want purple. Get some blue on the tip. The light's coming from over here. You can also do the light from here. Usually, I do it from here. So if the sun's shining from here, we'll have shadow all on this side. Use your toothpick to add some blue dots all throughout. You can also alternate between the toothpick and the Q-tip. While it's still wet, you're going to get some white and do dots on top of the blue. We're not mixing them, you're just doing dots right on top of that. Occasionally take any extra paint off, you only want to have white on the top. Some more blue on the bottom here. And it gets kind of lighter as you get to the top. What about that? Some more white. And then the lightest part is going to be over here. So this part should be completely white. But you still see the texture of the dots. Thank <laughs> you. 
we're going to take a break from the snowman while it dries and move on to our trees. When you're doing pointillism, you always start with the lighter color first. So I'm going to start with some yellow. And do, again, little tiny dots all throughout. While it's still wet, I'm going to get some blue. And put the dots right on top of that. And you keep doing this so you get the color you want. So got some yellow. Dot, dot, dot. Now, if we were doing professionally, you will be using a very fine tip brush and doing individual dots over and over again. It takes too much time. That's why we're using the toothpick instead. But professional artists like uh, George's uh, Surat, he used a very fine tip brush to do this. We don't have that kind of time or the brushes. Once again. Now some yellow. And you just keep doing that over and over until you get the colors you want. Now if we were doing a winter tree, I'm just doing a regular pine tree. If you want a winter tree with it, you have to do layers. First layer will be the green. And you want to do dark green instead of light green. I'm doing light green here, so you'll do a little bit of blue and dark green to mix together as you go with the dots. And then once it's completely dry, then you go back with the white dots to add the snow. Okay. This paint's almost dry, that's why it's not working. It helps when you have wet paint. This yellow is very dry. Same thing with the snow. You start off with a darker color and then the light color on top, depending on what you're doing. Oh, that was right. The white's still wet. Look at that. We're also using cardstock paper. If you had a canvas, this will work out a lot better on a canvas panel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up this video. To recap, pointillism is a technique in painting in which small distinct dots of color are used in pattern to form an image. You don't mix it with your brush. All you do is pile up different layers of dots over and over to make an image. This technique was started by Georges Seurat in the 1800s in post-impressionism. In the next video, we'll be talking more about impressionism and Vincent van Gogh.